Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a behind the Instagram how I did this hair. Today we're gonna to be talking all about this photo here. So I'm gonna be going over what she came in with, what the issues were, and exactly what I did and what formulas I used to get her to her results. So as we can see, the ends of her hair, the lightness is pretty good. There's some breakage going on. One of the main issues of the hair is definitely that unwanted warmth underneath. So what she came in wanting was a much brighter blonde look while minimizing the warmth, but not completely making her ash. And because I didn't want to compromise her ends anymore, and I felt that the ends were actually a really good guide color. So I made that my standard for the rest of the hair. So, so my goal was to lighten this area here to match her ends. So what I ended up doing was an all over highlight. And for the highlights, I used a Blonde Me by Schwarzkopf. I've been wanting to try out this lightener for so long. And I do love the controlled lift while still giving a really bright results. Then while the highlights were processing for the base color, I went in with a 6AG by Redken Color Fusion. And years ago, this used to be my go-to base color for anyone coming in with either really dark hair that I wanted to lift or someone that had a lot of warmth at their base that I wanted to combat, but didn't want a dark kind of matte color. So that level six was a perfect level for her base to give her enough contrast to the highlights, but yet keeping the look really soft. So I just went in between each foil and applied the 6AG with 20 volume. And the highlights with the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me was also mixed with 20 volume. I didn't want to use anything stronger. She was definitely already lifted. So the integrity of the hair obviously is the most important and we didn't want to compromise the hair by using a developer that was too high. So I processed everything for about 30 minutes and then it was time to tone. So even though she wanted a pretty blonde result all the way up to the root, I still went in with a root tap. I just think this is a step that as a hairdresser, you really shouldn't skip. I think it just makes every single blonde highlight just that much butterier and it just softens that very little start of that root that just makes it look like that hair grew out of your scalp. And so for the root tap, I went in with half an ounce of 6N Shade ZQ and a half an ounce of 7NB Shade ZQ. Just doing a straight N over a bright blonde highlight can almost look a little bit muddy, so I wanted to balance that out with the 7NB. And then to tone and gloss the rest of the hair, I went in with half an ounce of 9NB and half an ounce of 09P. Once that was processed full time, we just finished with the shampoo and conditioner and blowout. So working in that back area where there was a lot more of unwanted tones, as I was weaving the highlights, I actually tried to avoid as much of that brighter piece of hair from getting highlighted because those pieces would have gotten overly bright. And basically what I wanted to do is actually darken as much of that brightness as possible and create brand new highlights. I think sometimes as a hairdresser, because you see those light blonde pieces, you already think this is already halfway there. I want to go ahead and brighten that up. But those highlights are not going to be in the same color level as the rest of your highlights that you've just created. And therefore you're gonna have to end up toning with something a little bit stronger in that area. And you're essentially over processing that hair, which is a definite no-no when you're trying to keep the integrity of the hair in mind. So in that area, I actually ended up doing more back-to-back -back foils, meaning adding a ton more highlights, but leaving out a lot more pieces in each section. I feel like that's the best way to break up a trouble area like this one. And as you can see, we ended up with this beautiful vanilla blonde that looks really soft, yet really effortless and really natural looking. And finishing off the hair with that gloss toner really adds tremendous shine and it really seals the hair's cuticle back, especially after having lightened the hair. It's always a good idea to go in with something and fill the hair back up. And that is it, we are done. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, for any hairdressers that do watch me, I hope that not only the formula, but some of these techniques have helped you. If you would have gone about this situation differently, please let me know. With color, there's always so many ways to get a result. And to be honest, when I share with you guys my formulas, I try to share the ones that I feel like I've simplified. Obviously for the toner, I could have used a mix of four colors, which I do many times. But in my mind, as a color expert, sometimes it's just so much easier to be like, I need a dash of NB, I need a dash of V, and because in my head, it makes sense. 
but sometimes I actually try and challenge myself and think, okay, how can I get that exact same result with the least colors possible? Obviously, sometimes for some color corrections, that's not possible. My philosophy when it comes to color is you don't need to complicate things, don't do it. The other thing is when this client comes back, that formula is absolutely easy to replicate and so that she gets consistent results. And for those of you that are not hairdressers but are here to learn, I hope this has clarified anything that you were wondering, maybe of what to tell your hairdresser, or maybe it's helped you understand your hair color a little bit better. And I've actually been really curious, like what percentage of my audience are hairdressers and which are not. So if you are a hairdresser, please leave the scissor emoji down below. If you're not a hairdresser and just here for pure hair inspiration, please go ahead and leave a shining star emoji. Either way, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.